Elon Show. Welcome everybody to DJ Ayy Elon Show. Welcome everybody to DJ Ayy Elon Show. La 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 la. Welcome. Welcome, hello, hi, to everyone watching another episode of the Jay Igla Show. I'm your boy Jay. Um, right now, I just got to work, drop off my sister. Uh, last night was there was a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Mikey again, the uh, oldest brother. They did their thing beautifully. I felt it. I felt the music. But this morning, it's like it's weird that previous nights or the night before i had a great time but as soon as it's morning it's like whatever was like negative was like all right bro you had a good time here i am and a whole bunch of problems just came to my attention i'm like can i recover from what i drank last night like can i be me for like two seconds and unfortunately, that's not the truth. You know what I'm saying? You know, with family, as well with school, I got another email from the professor saying I'm, I'm behind, which I'm not going to blame her. I mean, I appreciate for for the teacher to be very attentive. But at the same time, it's like I don't need that much attention. I, I just need, you know, the, the, the space and time to be able to make up my work because unfortunately, I'm in a position where you know study is not the main priority but that's here nor there tonight <sighs> we're gonna we're gonna make it through the day pray for the best not hoping for the worst in um uh embracing for the worst i should say embracing for the worst but praying for the best and we are going to be enjoying some good music like i said i was able to find someone uh or, I, or maybe i did it Maybe I did, but uh, I was able to find someone to come with me to the concert. Uh, she's really dope. Uh, she's like a big sister to me. Um, I'm glad that she said yes. So we should be meeting up and have a good time tomorrow. I think I might just dedicate it just to do studying. We'll see. But, but for now, let's see how the concert go. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it.
right, concert was dope. Um, little disappointed on a few things. Number one, four hour late. Number two, flyer misguiding. I learned now that when the Spanish people truly say eight o'clock, it means singer's gonna be there at 12, be there by 11, and make sure you're already in the zone. You know what I'm saying? Another thing too, have fun. Cause even though it took a while, I had my fun, you know what I'm saying? So I say it's a great success. It's about like one or two o'clock in the morning. Uh, I am a little bit, you know, in the wave, but I'm gonna be responsible. Don't worry. Uh, and let's see what happens tomorrow. Yeah. All right, everybody. Today is March twelfth, um, one twelve. Uh, basically, your boy's tired. It's about eight thirty nine in the morning. I got home late, around like two ish. Recovered by a miracle. No, recovered because I stick to one drink. You don't. You don't mix. Don't mix. That that's gonna mess up your stomach. Stick to one. Drink your water. Rest. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I think I'm just gonna head to the gym, do what I gotta do, and uh, see what the day have for us. So, let's ride. A few hours later. I don't think you went around seven times. <laughs> Did you guys throw away cards or what? We did. I, they put like stacks okay, on. Oh, one hit wonder. Know. What's the song from 14? Oh, I know. Let me know. <laughs> you. Maybe you were saying shit. What's the number? I'm going to show you right now. Hey, everybody. It's March 13th. And not because it's Friday the 13th. It's Sunday, but it's also daylight saving time, meaning that we are one of the few popular states that actually practice that stuff. That is bull, okay? Bull, I tell you. I need my full eight hours of sleep. Well, last night, as you saw in the small clip, it was game night, and I had a ball. I really had fun, great energy, great group of people. Uh, I got to meet Lex for the first time too. Um, well, it's a person who I met via social media during the pandemic and it was pretty dope to see her in person. But, daylight saving time, you are whack. You are about suit up for that. Like, do farmers even use that thing anymore? Honestly, do they? Well, I'm off to the gym, as you hearing in the background, in the motion picture. Yo, this S21, though, fire. Camera quality, mwah, I, I gotta, I'm gonna have to step up my uh, uh, phone equipment. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, we had fun. My little sister went with me, and she was killing the games, too. So jealous of her. But we we had a good time. We had a good time. Don't play with me with Uno. Don't play with me with Uno. A few hours later. All right, so we're in Boston, heading our way to watch Mr. Dion Cole. I have nearly three, two to three years since I've been in Boston. Got the little one behind me. Uh, we should have a good time. Uh, those who don't know who Dion Cole is, he's the guy from the Old Spice commercial. He's in Blackish. A hell of a comedian. One of my favorites. And I can't wait to see what the man does. So, yeah.
Hold on, DJ. Hold on, DJ. Yo, I think I'm... I'm taking the escalator. The show was freaking amazing. Dion Cole made me laugh throughout the whole bit. I laughed so hard. Oh, man. It's going to be on Netflix real soon. I can't wait. I can't wait to relive all them jokes. Yo, have a good night, people. All right, so it's uh, March 14th. Uh, here. My ass is. I forced myself at 5, 5 o'clock, 4.30 in the morning, heard the alarm. I was like, no. But I got up and told myself, give yourself a chance, man. Give yourself a chance. Yesterday, you burned like over 3,000 calories. Yesterday you walked a lot. Yesterday you laughed. Yesterday you you was in the zone. You know what I'm saying? So why not keep up the momentum? Why not keep trying? You know what I'm saying? My knee does hurt. So most likely I might be on the bike in the elliptical. But I wish they had the elliptical that's like more not like a bumpy ride, but more smooth. You know what I'm saying? Those are nice for my knee. Uh, nine out of ten. I might be doing some. Yeah, nine out of ten. Most likely, I'm gonna do my ab workout too. Uh, don't know which. Yeah, I'm giving the rest of my body part just a rest before anything. So let's see how it goes. No, 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 no. Tú vete tranquilo. Es una emergencia. God damn. All right, so it's uh, March 15th, Tuesday, once again. You know, I ain't playing around. I ain't playing around. In a sense, I am tired. I'm noticing that I'm making dumb decisions at times because uh, this, like this morning, when I was heading downstairs, I. Uh, turn on the light of the hallway, put on my shoes, then I turned it off and started headed walking down the stairs. And I'm like, wait a minute, why would I turn off the light after? You know what I'm saying? Why I turn off the light and then go downstairs? It was just so. So I, I think there's gonna come a point that I'm going to have to rest for mentally, for my mental. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, waking up is fun. But like my mental man, it's it's kind of like yo, we need more time to recover for you, bro. So um, t uh, it's Tuesday, nothing big uh, occurring. So if something does, most likely it's gonna be on video. All right, so happy St. Patty's, March 16th, Wednesday. A little bit late, as you can see outside. Um, I'm at my mom's crib, as you can see. We are making sure she's still feeling good. Uh, today was a pretty slow day. I uh, didn't go anywhere uh, this morning to the gym. Mentally, I'm, I feel very exhausted, however, I'm currently in process of dropping out out of my class. It's sad, I know. But good news is I still have an opportunity to still graduate within the summertime or the fall. Just gotta get ready for it. So um, they spoke with an advisor. Advisor gave me some pointers. So just need one class, one class only. And once I get that done, we did it. So uh, yeah, see you tomorrow.
All right, so today is St. Patty Day. I'm not running in green. Uh, a little bit late, um, but uh, today was a really good day. Today, work from home, spend time with my mom. She's doing great. Um, after that, we went to a comedian show. I think it's the clip before this uh, that we got to uh, support my good friend Wale uh, and uh, have a good laugh. Um, that place was really dope. It has like this like 90 theme but with colors and such and you have the uh ninja turtle playing on the television i was like yeah good stuff so yeah that was my day all we can do for this family as a society is get them a sign i think the least we can do is get them an electric fence <laughs> wow <laughs> Now, originally, that joke was going to be invisible fence, but aren't all fences kind of invisible to them? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Uh... We got Wale coming back. Give it up for my man Wale. I'm gonna stop drinking right now, I promise that. Keep it going for your host, Joe Bro, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking asshole. I'm African, first gen, but I'm not as African as he tried to make me seem. And fuck his metrosexual lives, man. Real shit. I like girls, Damon. I know you do. That's what it said otherwise, but I know. In your mind, you feel like women. That's the thing. I feel, I feel you. Um, how y'all doing, man? Y'all good? Yeah. Y'all all right? I just want to, before I get into my set, and I always do this, I just want to appreciate every single last one of y'all. If you knew the comedy show was happening or not, I want to thank you guys for being here. We're doing this every third Thursday of the month. I want to appreciate Paul, the manager of Revival. I want to appreciate Sean Larkin and his, and his partner for having us here, so we'll clap it up for them. You know what I'm saying? They are providing a space for creatives. It's very rare, because a lot of people in Providence got big, big, big eagles, and they don't like to like let motherfuckers in their shit. But we've been, yeah, and we've been in their shit for about six months, pause. Um, so, let me get to it. Thank you.